Hey Tobin, it's David. <laughs> I've been kind of out of it for the last, uh, really two weeks because of something that, um, is like a flu, but I don't want to call it the flu. I didn't get a flu shot, and I really don't want to have that conversation. I'm trying to get drugged up as much as possible so I feel like a normal, functioning human being. Now in the midst of- <laughs> Now in the midst of all of that hot tea and soup and uh, and 45 minute long showers, I had a friend give me some Dayquil to try to help me out, which was really sweet of them. I really appreciate that. Except for the fact that Dayquil is pretty much useless. Now I took a look at a commercial for Dayquil involving Olympian snow athlete Ted Ligety. Ted Ligety takes Dayquil when he really has to be on the tracks the next day. And I guess it helps him. Maybe he is built differently from every other human being. Because for NyQuil, <laughs> it quite prominently shows the uh, little cup that he uses to drink down that NyQuil. He pops it on his nightstand and he says, mmm, good. For DayQuil, it is very cagey. It only shows him putting the box- <laughs> It only shows him putting the box into his backpack. And I think there's a reason for that. When my friend gave me DayQuil to help me get better, she gave me this. Let's take one out. That is a Dayquil tablet. And that feels like someone is ramming their fist down your throat when you try to take it and you're sick. You know, I can understand if your product is made for people who are already healthy and have no problems with their throat. Yep, you can afford to make your pill as big as something that you feed to horses before a race. But when somebody is already basically hacking up half of a lung, and is having trouble getting down basic foods. Having something that big is not a good idea. This is a marble. Marble? Vicks Dayquil. The marble is only a little bit thicker, but in terms of how it feels going into your mouth, about the same. <laughs> there were two other commercials for Vicks Quill products that I took a look at. It was pretty clever. Both of them had the tagline that parents can't really take sick days, and that's effective. Because yeah, there are some things that you have to keep on doing, even when you're sick. Such as, trying to get this monstrous horse pill down! In those commercials, they don't have any footage of people taking either product, NyQuil or DayQuil. Now for NyQuil, they didn't really need to, because you can tell that it's something that you drink. But for DayQuil, a little bit deceiving. Because the little pills on the box that they're showing are little pills! Can you tell how angry I am about this? And I only right now have a voice that I've been able to express this opinion! And <laughs> And in another day, maybe my voice won't be this high when I'm animated. Anyway, yep. Sorry that I've been out of it. I feel like there is an important lesson with that advertising, uh, which is if you're not going to show your product in use, that better not be because it is so difficult 